Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D. Lloyd. So man, I was definitely wrong about what I thought was going to happen with Draymond Green. At least I potentially could be wrong as to what I thought was going to happen with Draymond Green and his suspension. We all seen what happened yesterday or last night now with the uh, Phoenix Suns, with um, Nurkic, and of course Draymond Green striking him in the face. So we did know a suspension was going to take place. I made a video earlier today saying that I believe it's going to be basically around that 10 game mark was going to be where I thought that suspension was going to take place. Well, according to Adrian Bosnowski, that could technically be true, but then it could not be true. What do I mean by that? Well, he has been suspended indefinitely by the league. Now, when you look at it technically, it can mean anything. It can mean a one-game suspension, like meaning we just don't know how long he's going to be suspended. It could be forever. Like we, anything in between, um, that technically is indefinitely, right? Because you, you just don't know. There's no specific number of games right now. But generally, when you hear that term indefinitely, um, you are going to assume the worst. And I think it's fair with how that was kind of worded, that this could be quite a while before he comes back. Now, with that said, we also know that Draymond Green is going to have to meet a few things before he's able to come back, both around the team and I'm assuming with the league. We don't know the specifics, at least as of me recording this, as what he has to complete. We just know he has to complete a few things before he is able to return. So, this is, this is huge. This is huge and maybe... Maybe this could finally get across to Draymond Green that all these little antics and cheap shots and things of that nature, the NBA is pretty much tired of it. They don't want to see it anymore. I don't think it's good for the sport. I understand playing physical basketball, but a lot of Draymond's antics kind of, you know, go overboard um, a lot of the time. And let's be real, the suspension, the indefinite suspension is because of Draymond Green's history. Like I also said in the, today's video, if it was just about anybody else, that's a flagrant two, that's maybe one or a two game suspension. I don't think it's much more than that. But because it's Draymond Green, because he just got suspended a couple weeks ago from the Rudy Gobert incident, and now, you know, you're looking at a guy who has nine games, who's, who, who's he has been, excuse me, he has been suspended for nine games in his career, and now he has to really sit down for some time and figure out where does he go from here. And hopefully, um, this does help him long-term. Hopefully, it's not that long. I'm still hoping around that 7 to 10 game mark. Um, I don't want to assume the worst, but when you hear that, it could be longer. It could be much longer. <laughs> we don't know how long the suspension is going to be, but Draymond Green suspended indefinitely by the NBA. He has a few things that he's going to have to complete and meet before he is able to come back. We don't know what that is yet, but um, it'll be interesting. I'm sure we'll hear more things either throughout the night or tomorrow morning um, regarding this suspension. This is all we know as of me recording this right now. So what do y'all think, man? What do y'all think about this? Is this right for the NBA? Does Draymond Green deserve an indefinite suspension? Do you think it's 10 games, 20 games, 15 games? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.